So let's look x, x, i, v. So this is gonna be the two x's make a 20, and then we've got a five and then a one before it, so that means subtraction. Or like I said, you can think about this as a single number, so that would be 24 in the end. Okay, so 24. And then what about m, c, d, and then x, x, v, x, x, v. So what is that? Well, we've got a thousand, right? And then CD represents 400 because of this subtraction rule, right? So let's see, in the end, we have 1,425. L, X, X, V, I, I. So what's that? So let's see, we're gonna have 50 plus 10 plus 10, that's 70. Five plus one plus one is seven. So that's 77. Right, we don't have any like funny business with this subtraction in this case, which is cool. Then maybe like, what about this? X, V, overline, M, M, D, X, I, V. <laughs> so let's see, this one, what do we have? So this X, V, that's 15, right? But then it's got the overline, which means it's 15,000 by the rule up there. So this is 15,000. Oh, and then M, M, that's another 2,000, right? So in the end, that's gonna be 17,000. And then I just, I think I just contradicted myself in terms of the uh, unique representation because you could also do that 17,000 a slightly different way with like XVII overline. Okay, so there's not a unique representation. Okay, so we've got 17,000 and then D is 500. So 17,500, X is 10, uh, and then IV is four. So 17,514. 